Neela, there's uh, London elections on May the 5th and you're standing. Can you tell me a little bit about the party you're standing for and why you're standing? Okay, so I'm standing for the Women's Equality Party and we are a new political party putting equality at the top of the agenda. So people can, when it comes to the 5th of May, they can vote for us and the way the voting process works is you get four votes on the 5th of May with three ballot papers. So you get two for your London Mayor and we do have a mayoral candidate, Sophie Walker, standing. On your second paper, because we're non-partisan, you can still vote for your Labour, Liberal Democrat, Conservatives to represent you in your constituency. And then on your third ballot paper, you can vote for us where you'll see Women's Equality Party. So either way, whichever way they want to go for, from Mayor all the way across, why, why would they want to vote for you? It's really to get equality at the top of the agenda. We've got key policies that we're focusing on, such as equal pay, um, equal media treatment, uh, better childcare, equal parenting, really key things that go across the board that really appeal to men and women. Why, why have you do, have you stood for elected office before and why in 2016? I haven't ever stood before, this is my first time in politics, but I felt that this was an issue that's been long standing. The battle for uh, equality is a long and historical one and I've, I've lived in Havering my entire life. I'm from Raynham so I've got Dagenham right up the road to me and I know about the history of how the women of Dagenham fought for equal pay at Ford. Uh, I see local businesses all the time. I get my hair cut from a uh, shop right down the road to my house. Uh, so I'm all about supporting local businesses but 45 years on from the Equal Pay Act women still only earn 81 pence to every pound that a man earns. So it's these kinds of issues that I'm seeing right across the board and that's why the Women's Equality Party really resonated with me. What will you, as individually, what will you gauge as success on May? For people to vote for us. <laughs> but up until then it would be great to have people joining the party, um, logging on to our website um, and looking at our policies and really getting involved. I mean we, we really want volunteers. We've just set up a branch in Havering as well which would really be relevant to people of Thurrock where they can get involved. We do lots of canvassing which is door knocking and it may not sit, sound appealing but when you get to somebody's front door and they say we're going to give you a vote in May, that's the reward of it. So you're, are you saying that as we're here in Chafford 100, um, that could you foresee something like a Women's Equality Party maybe standing in local elections, someone like Thurrock or indeed general elections? We really hope so and it's because we're only one year old at the moment, we actually have 47,000 members already so we are really fast, far, are growing very quickly um, and it would be amazing to be able to stand in 2020 as well. But like I said, these are issues that affect everyone on a daily basis from the very point of a woman in Thurrock or Chafford 100 um, outside of Havering getting on a bus with a push chair and not having enough room or somebody who's maybe in a wheelchair and finding it difficult on transport. These are things that we really want to um, put to the top of the agenda. So what happens to you now? What's your campaign? Apart from you're, you're here, but you're campaigning, are you going to be out every weekend or every day? What, what happens? So um, it's all about really meeting people, getting the word out there, but I've also been doing a lot, of, a lot of groundwork, so meeting women who have been through issues, such as one of our key policies is to end violence against women. And we've launched a campaign on harassment where you can um, put online where you've been harassed on transport. It's about kind of gauging real women's story. So I took part in a march for the first time in London, part of Million Women Rise. And that felt really good to be supporting a real key issue of ending violence against women and getting the message out there. So it's about really meeting real people, doing the groundwork as well, um, and making change uh, in real life as well as through politics and policies. Anita, thank you.